Good evening, my dear patients. It is I, Dr. Moxmo, here with you once again to provide you with your weekend creepy pasta. The mirror. For such a simple device with a singular purpose in almost every home, it certainly carries with it a dark and foreboding connection to the occult and spiritual realms. What is it about such a basic device only designed to merely show you your appearance, hold with it such negative emotions? Tonight, we shall be exploring this topic a little deeper if you are daring enough and want to experience a different kind of reading, stand in front of your nearest mirror and follow along with tonight's story. Perhaps you will be witness to something a little different than just your physical self. Now, sit back and relax. Gaze into the mirror as I share with you the tale of Staring. Written by And Now You Run. Have you ever stared at yourself in a mirror for a very long time. It sounds weird, I know, but I'm sure at least half of you listening to this will have done it. If you stand in silence, staring only into your own eyes for long enough, you'll get this feeling. Those that have done it will know exactly what I'm talking about. It is hard to give a definition of the feeling as almost everyone has their own way of describing it. Some will even go as far as calling it an out-of-body experience. One thing that everyone seems to agree on, however, is that if done for long enough, Staring at yourself in a mirror does not feel right. It's pretty much unexplainable, but eventually, something deep within your human mind will scream out that something is wrong. Very, very wrong. Different people take different amounts of time to reach what you may like to call the peak of the feeling, but when they do, they almost have to stop staring. It's like every cell in your body is urging you to get away. But what exactly is it that you are so desperately in need? of getting away from. This is just about everything that anyone knows about the feeling. Or, to correct myself, just about as far as anyone has dared to find out. If you decide to take this experiment to its most extreme, you'll find out a little bit more. Heed my warning though, the few people who have gone this far have not come back the same. All of them strongly refused to report what they saw or experienced. All I can tell you is that what happened to me was extremely disturbing. I'd recommend all of you who do not wish to take this any further to stop listening now. 
It doesn't take much preparation. All you'll need is a room with a mirror. A bathroom is probably the easiest. You must be alone. And there must be total silence for this to work. You'll need to make the room as dark as possible. Turn out all of the lights and draw the blinds if there are any. Preferably, this should be done at night. Now, go as close to the mirror as you can get without your image becoming distorted or blurred. Stare into your own eyes and smile. Nothing over the top, but make sure your teeth are showing. You'll see why later. Yes, I know this is a pretty odd request, and it will feel silly to do so. But hey, nobody's watching, right? Now, continue smiling and staring into your own eyes and nothing else. Do not look around the room no matter what you begin to see or hear. When you get the feeling, you'll know that you're doing the right thing. Continue staring. Now, this is the hardest part. When you reach the peak and get that undeniable desire to get out of that room, and run as far as you can. Try to resist it. You may be overcome with fear, but just push that emotion away and continue to smile and stare into your own eyes. For there's no going back now. You'll know that you're past the peak when you begin to get the next feeling. This one is very different and will not be like anything you could imagine experiencing in real life. This whole experiment will now seem quite unreal, almost dreamlike. But that means it's working. I guess the only way to describe what you'll feel next is a feeling of unity. Unity between you and the figure staring back at you in the mirror. You see, it will not seem like you are both the same entity anymore. You may have experienced this during the peak. However, now you will not feel scared of what's in the mirror. But, one with it. I cannot say how long it will take for you to feel this. Maybe five minutes, or maybe half an hour. But when you think you do, close your eyes. Continue smiling, but keep your eyes closed. It's almost over. When you are ready, open your eyes and you'll see why you needed to get away.